What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got an excellent duel for you guys to check out. This is a new format dueling. This was sent to me by my homeboy, Mr. Toby. He always sends me some really nice and spicy duels. He's at the top, and um, I'm not really sure what to call this deck. Like, I've seen this duel, so <laughs> I know that there's some true Dracos in here, but I don't even feel good calling it a true Draco variant because if you look at his opening hand, it looks more reminiscent of kind of like those random 60 card decks that you see people run. And to be honest, I'm not even sure what to call those. You can't really call them Light Sworn. Lithium said this like the other day. You can't really call them Light Sworn because usually there's only a little bit of Light Sworn monsters in it. And this isn't even a 60 card variant. Then at the bottom, we have a Destiny Hero. Well, it's like D and E Heroes. And actually, this guy goes hard. He runs Vision Heroes. He runs Mass Heroes. It's, this is the definition of like if, uh, <laughs> if Jaden was the protagonist for like a new anime today, this would probably be the deck that he runs in addition to like, you know, the fact that Hero have a, a link monster now which he's going to summon too so let's go ahead and roll it and not not for nothing but he opens with a, a pretty respectable field so he's going to get the search off of the shadow mist and then he's going to summon a copy of malicious i thought he was going to go for a sade but he does not he's going to poly up he's going to go for um dystopia guy okay that's fine he's going to do a little bit of burn damage and he sets a poly now if you guys don't know about destiny hero dystopia anytime its attack becomes uh, anything different than its uh, original attack it can pop a card on the field so if your opponent attacks and they run into honest neos then what you can actually do is uh, you can blow up a card on their side of the field. And usually that's enough because you end up taking one of their monsters out by battle, doing some damage, and then also popping a card on their field. So it's not bad. I remember, um, uh, what's it called? Aster or Edo used this in the duel versus Yulia. I think he used it in both duels, actually. No, no spoilers for Arc V. Anyway, so let's see how he opens. So he's going to open pretty good. Now, when he popped this Baba Baboon here, I thought he was going to go for... I, I really thought he was going to go for, um, like, the, the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. I thought he was just going to start trying to pop his monsters because he still has so many cards in his hand. I, I thought that would have been probably the best route. But he goes more for the combo-centric route. You can see that he's fixing his hand. He's going to go for um, X Saber Invoker, then goes for Isode, which, you know, gets him the BLS in hand. So next turn, you know, he's bringing the hammer. Check this cheese out. <laughs> he has three copies of Hero Kid. I was like, oh, this is spicy. <laughs> Whenever you sub three copies of Hero Kid, you know the duel spicy, right? He's going to drop Masterpiece, which is now immune to monster effects, and it's immune to spells. He does go ahead and he drops the Dystopium. I think that was a misplay because I don't know if he thought that he'd be able to blow Masterpiece up. He done forgot that it was uh, unaffected by, like, you know, by monster effects. Now, check this out. So, uh, by the way, I, I love seeing Damage Juggler. It's been so long since I've seen this card. I feel like I have a connection to Damage Juggler because of Yugi Mation's, uh, his, like, banless videos, band camp and whatnot. I, I played Damage Juggler in that video. But look at this field. I mean, how do you lose? There's no way to lose this duel, right? He has more life points. Mr. Toby has BLS. He has a 53. 300 Ditopia. Uh, um, he's got Masterpiece and he's got a Porlo Dragon. This guy has two, I don't want to call them dead cards, but wouldn't you agree that this is an almost unlosable duel? It doesn't matter if he top decks for Geki or evenly master anything. This is like unwinnable, right? All right, let's see what happens. So he's going to get a search. Hat Tricker. Um, he does go into uh, Proxy Dragon. I don't know about that. I think I would have just kept the <laughs> Ditopia. Okay, well, whatever. He's going to go Solid Man, and he's going to activate Vion, and he's going to go ahead and get his monster back from the grave. Now, check this out. He goes, and he summons Vision Hero Trinity. I don't think I've ever seen this card summon. It requires any three hero monsters, and its attack becomes doubled, and it can actually attack three times. Yeah, it can't attack directly, but it can attack three monsters, and then he's going to do the burn damage from Dystopia, and he's going to go ahead, and he's going to run over every single monster on his board, and he's going to actually kill him oh man how did how did you lose this duel he, he cut his monster down 500 with Barlow dragon but when your monster is 5,000 attack bro they, there is no stopping that monster <laughs> a monster that's 5,000 attack that can attack three times yeah that was uh I didn't really know what to think of that there, that that wasn't the way that I saw that duel going but those are my favorite type of duels and the duels you can always find on this channel so hopefully you guys enjoyed that duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for for daily videos.